morning and welcome to the chat on Newsday Amarillo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Good morning, everybody. I'm Rhonda. And I'm Chuck Alicious, Chuck Williams. And joining us this morning is Mr. Dean Crump. He's uh, running for place one on the Amarillo City Council. Second visit here at the chat. And uh, Mr. Crump, thank you for taking time out to uh, visit with us this morning. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Uh, Mr. Crump, we, we we look at uh, your your run for election for office, and uh, th there's some things that, that have come to the forefront that people are asking. And I think this elections are about and for people. Uh, infrastructure, uh, that's a big concern of a lot of people. Uh, it, it, if we don't start doing stuff, is it going to hurt our future? And uh, we, we were talking off air about uh, the age of some of our infrastructure and, and how we can address it. You in this campaign, what would you think is the most important thing we need to pinpoint when it comes to infrastructure, and how can we tackle it? Uh, well, I mean, uh, the most important, it's twofold, really. It's, it's the current infrastructure that, that we have that is aging that needs, needs attention, and it's not a, it's not a, uh, a fix that's going to happen. He's frozen. He's frozen. Oh boy, I told you it's that day. Today's Let it that go. Day. Let it go. Today's that day. Uh, now, enough of the Disney World stuff, Rhonda. <laughs> I'm going to sit in a room, a dark room, the rest of the day. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm not even going to turn on the light bulb. There you go. There you go. There you go, Mr. Crump. No, oh, did I? Did y'all miss that whole thing? <laughs> oh, he froze up there just a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh, I am so sorry. Oh no, that's okay. Go, go ahead, Miss Rhonda. I won't hold anybody else up. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, one of the things that I always ask every candidate is, what do you think um, is, you know, besides infrastructure, which we started that conversation, what would be another big issue that the council should uh, really focus in on? Well, there's, uh, besides infrastructure, there's, to me, there's two things that, that really come to my, come to the forefront of my mind. One of them is, is, you know, just restoring the trust in between the council and the citizens, you know, and how do we do that? We have to listen to the citizen feedback. We've got to actively work to develop solutions to the important issues and respect the decisions of the citizens, especially at the ballot box. Mm -hmm. I think it's critical to be honest and transparent and educate and assure our citizens understand why we're making decisions with what we do. And, uh, you know, I, that's, that's where I think I'm strong in terms of just integrity and honesty and, and a hardworking person that has the experience to do these things. And so that's, that's important. Secondly, I think, you know, we have a, we've got to make sure our first responders and our, the, our fire and police have the tools they need to provide a first class service to the citizens. You know, we talk about quality of life in Amarillo and I think it's important to, to have the crime where it needs to be and have the responders where they need to be to start that process. And so those, to me, are the, the two other biggest issues that we have in front of us besides infrastructure. Just where do you think the citizens' trust was broken? Just is there any specific area you can put your finger on? He's frozen. It's, it's Friday. This is my <laughs> April Fool's Day right here. Uh-huh. Happy day to you. Yeah. <laughs> well. Oh, um, my goodness. Yeah. I, I'm hoping we get him back I hope, pretty it, I quickly, hope so, but, so, too, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, no. We mm. shall see. We might have to have uh, Isaiah, our producer, drop him, bring him back in. Yeah. See if that'll work for us. we got a, about five more minutes we can hopefully save for him. Yeah. Let's see if uh, – there he goes. Isaiah will do that for us. But, uh, yeah, today's just a, the gremlin in the – the monster in the in the machine. Today. It's going to get better. Oh, it better get let's, better. There he is, Mr. That. Crump. Mr. Crump, can you hear us? We can't hear him. Can't hear no, him. No, can't hear him. Technology. Don't you just <laughs> love it? Don't you just love it? That's oh, why I say. There we go. There we go. There, there, there we go. Okay. There we go. Goodness. I just yeah. had my internet stability improved, too, so I hope it's not me. But no, I, I, I think it's our system. I think something's yeah. gone haywire over here, so mm -hmm. uh, I, we apologize for that. No. Uh, Mr. Krupp, we, we are a city that is on the verge, and it's either on the verge of growth and expansion or we're going to start going backwards. 
uh, th there's things like you say when it comes to infrastructure that we need. There, there's things that are popping up like the crime level is risen. Right. Uh, we're in that kind of weird position between being a city and being a town. Uh, <laughs> the, the one thing that, that, that always comes to mind, we, we need more police. We need more fire. Where's that money going to come from? Where, where are we going to get that money uh, to, to pay this, these people we need? I mean, we voted down a tax, about a 4% tax raise uh, a year or so ago. Uh, it, that's defunding the police to me. <laughs> we don't. We, we exactly. Don't well, you, I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, we all, we all like to talk about keeping our tax rate low or lowering it like we did last time, except for the values went up. But uh, that didn't re really reduce the overall tax. But the, the money, uh, you know, we talk about where can we find spending and money and some of that in the budget. And that comes from prioritizing. What is the biggest priorities we have with the money that we do have? And if we can, if we can accomplish that, you know, and, and we can find money, you know, we've had, we've had sales tax growth in the last couple of years that, that top 15, $20 million of what our budget is. If, and there's a point where we can use that money to, to sustainable uh, expenses such as, police and fire. And I'm hoping that that's where we can, we can find that money or maybe we can reprioritize some things that, that become less of a, that are less of an issue than, than crime, <laughs> which I can't think of anything that is more of an issue than crime, but I think we can find that money there. But uh, you know, at some point we've got to pay for that. We have to. I have to. And full disclosure, we were talking with Mr. Crump. He's already he's sat down and looked at the budget. He hasn't gone through it line by line, but he's looked at some things that have kind of stood out to him. And he's gone to the people to talk to him about it and find out what's good. So full disclosure on that, you have been looking at the budget of the city the last year and, and kind of have absolutely that. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I've, I've met with the CFO and the city manager and gone through the budget at, at a high level. I'm not going to say I've gone through it in detail. That's a daunting task that yeah. that we just keep continue. I continue to work on, but uh, you know, there's there's priorities there. I think that can be shifted. Um, you know, we're not going to just. I think with organic growth, with just all the things that are going on growing in Amarillo, we're going to have a little bit better revenue as well. So, are we? Can you hear? I think we're gone. Did you free? I, I got it. I can hear you. You uh, know. Oh goodness gracious. With what, with what you have, Mr. Crump, with what you've seen so far, have you seen the issue that we possibly have a budget surplus in Amarillo? Have you seen that? Well, the only place that I've seen that budget surplus really is in the sales tax area, which is a large portion of our revenue. We, right. have, we had 15, something, 15, $16 million in additional sales tax that, that was in addition to what we actually budgeted for last year. So that's a pretty that's a pretty significant number mm -hmm. that we can act. This council can actually make decisions with the city manager on how to spend that, but we can't suspend that kind of stuff on sustainable stuff like payroll right. until that is sustainable. And so once we see a year or two of the averages stay the same, I think we can use a percentage of that as a sustainable budget item. Mm 